Hey guys, welcome to today's YouTube video. Today we're gonna do a little push workout, body weight only. So I'm gonna show you a few push-up variations I really like. You can do them anywhere, anytime. Your chest will feel pumped, your arms will feel pumped. And let's go through it right away. First, we're gonna start with the tiger crawl push-ups. We combine two elements, tiger crawl with a push-up variation. The tiger crawl is right hand, right knee. Left arm in the front, left leg in the back. Now I step the right hand and the left leg at the same time forward. And now from this position, I want to bring my chest as close as I can to the floor. That means I perform a push-up. So what I do is I bring my leg out, I push down. I come back up, bam, I can crawl forward. One, find my position to go down, push back up. Nice thing about it is, you really start pushing in different angles. You have to learn also how to organize your body to do this task. First exercise, what we do is 20 steps. You can do them in one take, 20 reps. You can of course also do five, then again five, five until you have 20. Only when you completed the 20 reps, you are allowed to go to the next push-up exercise that I'm gonna show you later. So I'm also gonna do 20 reps now. You can follow me along if you want. Let's go. Twenty reps, tiger crawl push-ups. Good. Take the break that you need. Now we go for the second exercise. The second one are the slide through push-ups. I'm again in this crawling position, but this time my knees are below my hips, so I'm here. Not like in a tiger crawl, I'm here. And now I want to slide this leg through, this way, slide through push-ups. And from here, you can sit down, push down, come back up. I slide back, bam, then to the other side. Slide through, down, come back up, slide in. Slide through, down, up, slide back. So you decide, you can do variation number one with sitting your hips down to the floor. That will make it much, much easier. I go for the next harder variation where I don't place my hip on the floor. I take a nice side step, keep the hips up and I push. So step, push, come back, step, step through, push, come back up, step back. I try to bring my head or my chest as close as I can to the floor. We have a nice side rotation while going down to the floor. So for here, again, 20 reps. That means 10 reps each side. Again, you can do it 5-5-5-5 five, 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 or 10-10 ten, ten, or 20 in a row like I do. Follow me along, 20 step through push-ups. Let's go. Twenty reps. As you saw, over time you can also start doing it more and more dynamic. Do one push up, jump through, go for the other side, push down. So there are many variations. You can explore all of the variations in my training app. There you can also see them integrated in nice workouts 
and programs with also a detailed explanation to all the exercises and like I said, all the levels and you can change levels on your own to the harder or easy variations to adjust the workouts to your needs. Good. I already feel pretty pumped in my arms and chest. Now I go for push-up variation number three, the lizard kick push-ups. What we're gonna do is we have this lizard crawl position. Left leg is in front, arms are here, right leg is in the back. Because here, we can also start doing this lizard crawl, but we stay static at one place. And the kick is from here. I lift up the left hand if the left foot is in front and I kick the right leg through. Kick. And now as I come back, I end up in this lizard position, but I do the push-up here. Bump. Down. As close as you can to the floor. Push back up. Kick again through. Here, you can change difficulty of this exercise. Let me show you the levels quickly. Kick, flat hands. Use this, much, this foot as much as needed. Level two, five fingers. Four fingers. Three, two, one, no fingers. So you decide which level you take. It's really nice to adjust the levels like this to your needs. And we always combine it with the kick every rep. 10 reps, left arm, 10 reps, right arm. Ready? I start with the left arm, 10 kicks, then I go for the other side. Choose the variation, go for 10 reps each side. Ten reps right side. Ooh. Now we go for the last one. The last one is a bit less demanding on the arms. This is also why I use it as the last exercise because then it's like a little finish around when you're already tired to still squeeze a little bit more after your muscles. I call them either solo push-ups or hook push-ups. Up to you. We are in this table position and now I bring the right leg here around the left leg. Now very important, take a look where the knee is showing. If the knee is showing this direction, that means my hands go also this direction. And here I push down and I push back up. When I'm finished, I step back to change to the other side. Left foot hooks around the right. The knee is showing this direction. That means my arms go also in this direction. You see, I can sit down with the hips, I push down. Come back up, step, switch, sit down, push chest or nose as close as you can to the floor, push back up. And now here, you can make it harder by keeping the hips in the air. I step, but my hips don't touch the floor anymore. That means find the right position for you to adjust the stance of this leg. Can be very close, can also be a bit further up to you. Push down, come back up. Make it dynamic by pushing and as you come up at the same time, you step this leg around. Also, you have to option this push-up variation. So again, use finger assistance or only one hand. So many levels to make it harder. You don't always need extra weight to make an exercise harder to level it up. Five fingers, four fingers, three, two, one, no finger. And here we go for 20 reps, that means 10 each side. I alternate sides right away. Again, do five, 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 do 10 and 10, 
always two and then take a break up to you. Complete 20 reps, then you're done with this one as well. Let's go. Follow me as you want. When you reps, whew, my arms are pumped. That was exercise number four, 10, 10. And now this was one round of this whole workout. And now it is up to you. You can finish this round. That's it for today. But you can also level it up to two sets, three or even four sets. That would mean now when you finish with this exercise number four, take a rest, the rest that you need or take a 90 seconds rest and then you start again with the first push-up variation 20 reps and then go for another round and then when you finish with the last exercise take again 90 seconds rest go for a third round and go for a fourth round so totally up to you i will take a rest now if you want to have this workout in a real structured way also with options for harder or easy variations have a look at my training app i will upload it there as well Go for this push-up workout. You don't need equipment. You don't need extra weight. You can do this in your hotel room, outdoors like here, at your gym, wherever you are. It will use your muscles in ranges you probably never used before. Instead of going for these basic push-ups all the time. It feels amazing, trust me. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will keep uploading more high quality content for you to help you to level up your body weight training and to make your body your best friend. Thank you so much for joining. Enjoy the practice and I see you next time. Peace.